G'day, it's Rusty and welcome to the channel. In this video, we're going to be making an addition to the table where instead of me sitting at the desk and trying to drive the torch around from the software um, keystrokes or the software arrows that allow me to move the gantry around, we're going to install a gaming controller. Now this is the gaming controller, it's a pretty generic 2.4 gigahertz wireless controller and paired with the little dongle that plugs into my laptop I can use this game controller to move the gantry around, to move the torch up and down and to accurately align the location of the torch while standing in front of the table because uh, at, at present what I've got to do is I've, I sit at the desk and I drive the gantry around onto a piece of steel and then I've got to keep getting up and having a look and moving it a bit and it's just a real pain so I'll just show you how I do it at the moment and I'll show you how this is going to help me. So at the moment if I want to move the torch around what I need to do is using, using these uh, arrow here or the green up and down arrow what I can do is by moving this into this position I can move the gantry to the right, I can move the gantry to the left I can go back down the table or I can come forward. I can also drive the torch up and down and you can see that shown in these uh, coordinates and I can drive the torch down as well. But the problem is, is if I want to move it to a specific location on the table, I've got to keep getting up and moving to have a look to see where it is. Well, I'll show you what I can do now with it. Now, this is the MyPlasm software and if I go into the settings so on the electronics tab you have a gamepad option now if I click the active box I activate it and these functions here provide the keystrokes so I can move the gantry here this is the X and Y so I can move the gantry forward and back left and right this one here is the Z axis, so I can move it up and down. On the back, there's a couple of low speed and high speed alternative buttons, so I can move it at its maximum uh, hand speed, or I can go a really slow speed. And this allows me to do several other functions. I can do the Z equals zero function, I can turn the thing on and off. So this is a type two controller, so I need to check the box. So now that's activated, we can go back to the table and basically what we're going to do is simulate these movements by using the controller. Now with the game controller, there's a little switch under the bottom. So if I turn that on, the little red light comes on, which means it's powered, ready to go. And this left hand toggle, if I push it forward or back, it moves the gantry forward or back. So by pushing it back, the gantry moves back. If I move it forward, it comes forward. If I push it to the right, it moves the torch on the x-axis to the right. And if I move it to the left, it goes to the left. And this right-hand toggle allows me to move the torch up and down. So, let's put it there. so by pushing it backwards, the torch goes up. If I pull it towards me, it goes down. And on the back here, we've got these two buttons. The lower button is configured for slow speed. So if I push the button in and want to move the gantry backwards, it goes, it goes at a really slow speed. I think it's 10% of its maximum speed. And if I push the top button in while I move that gantry, that function initiates the maximum hands speed that I've got inside the software settings and the beauty of having one of these is I can stand at the table and accurately position the torch where I want it. I'll just move the camera over and show you what I mean. Okay so I want to put the torch right here in this corner here so if I use the slow speed button I can move the gantry towards me I can also move it to the left and then I can also pull the torch down. So by driving the torch down, now it's close to the metal, I can then slowly manoeuvre the torch to be exactly where I want it to start the cut. 
So this is really, really handy. Being able to stand here and position it rather than sitting eight foot away on the desk, running backwards and forwards, this really is a no-brainer in terms of to be able to control the position of the torch relative to where I sit. Now I know some tables have swing out arms with laptops and things on them. Well I don't, I have to sit at the desk. So this really is for me, is the way to go. It's just a quick video to show you how I can use the game controller in the MyPlasm software to allow me to move the gantry and the torch around by standing at the front of the table rather than sitting over there. As I said, some tables come with a, with a bracket on the front and an iPad or whatever and it can actually, or a screen and you can be right here on the corner. Well the way I load my table I really can't have anything hanging out there so sitting at the desk uh, is where I need to be so the fix for having to get up and run around all the time and check the position of, of where the torch is relative to the metal. So having that game controller really makes it so much easier and quicker to set the torch up on the steel. Now those game controllers, they're a generic 2.4 gig um, wireless unit. I bought mine online. Uh, you can, you know, Amazon, eBay, those sort of places have them. And they weren't very expensive. It was in the $20, $25 mark. If you like the video, a thumbs up would be appreciated. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, the subscribe button is down here. And if you'd like to support the channel, there's a link in the description below to buy me a coffee. I certainly appreciate all the support I've been getting. If there's something you don't like about the video and you give it a thumbs down, I certainly appreciate you putting in the comments what it was you don't like, because I'm always trying to make better content. Um, well, that's it for this video. I look forward to seeing you in the next one.